Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to show you this morning is how you're going to use a stadiometer, which is used for measuring height. This is a portable version that we have here. I have one assembled. When your package comes, they will all be varying um, variations of what I'm going to show you here. They do come with their instruction manual, but sometimes those can uh, get set aside as we unwrap the package and decide what to do. But when it is disassembled, this is what you will see. It all compacts nice and neatly into the um, bottom is designed to hold the parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble a model of what is right here. There is the upright pieces, which we're going to unsnap from here. I'm going to get a place to lay them down so I can line them up, know what order they're going to go in so the height will read accurately. They just snap nice and tight into the clips. They do come out with a little bit of, little, a little bit tricky, a little bit stiff. This one is quite new, so the clips are very stiff in it. We'll get that one out of here too. There we go. So I've got all my uprights. This is going to be the piece that actually slides onto the, the top of the head. And this is a little brace that's going to go at the top for the back. So now I've got my base. It has the little piece at the bottom is specially shaped so that you can't get your pieces in incorrectly. So we're going to go for the one that is at the first measure. It has the... Um, You'll know by your numbers, because the first one is only a one-foot piece. Curved around, so I'm going to snap that guy into there. I'll do it on the chair here. It's very important it be snapped down tight. I can't stress that enough. I was at one health fair where it was pushed in tight, seemed really tight, but it was up about a quarter of an inch. It's going to throw your measures off at the end. So make sure you're snapped in really, really tight. Check your connections. Now we're ready to start building. So I'm going to park this one here beside. I'm going to put it on the floor with the curved part at the back, the handle at the front. So now the next piece is going to go in. It starts with the two foot measure piece. And again, the ends are clipped. They are shaped so that you can only get it in one way around. So we'll snap that guy in. And again, snap her down tight. The next one, we've got three feet in there. Now it's coming in my four to five foot piece. Snap her together. Before I put my top piece on, I'm going to put on the gliding piece, the slider piece, which has the measure gauge in the side. And again, it can only fit on one way around. So I'm going to slide that on there. The um, stabilizing brace that goes at the top snaps into the top. Now I've got my top piece ready. There, nice and tight, and we're all set and ready to go. So now we need a volunteer to have their height measured. So come on over. I'm going to back it up to a wall for stability. No shoes, have to have a seat on the chair. Take your shoes off. We want this to be accurate. Show off your toes. Yes, what I'm going to ask you to do is stand with your back against my pole, and then I'm going to slide it down. We're going to do it three times and record what they are, and take the average, and that will be your height today. Okay, back up, step up on, stand tall, look forward, eyes level. But level as I guess. One thing I watch for as a therapist especially is are they looking up, looking down, trying to look taller. They'll, they'll try to look taller by looking at the ceiling. You definitely Does want to look at them side on to look straight ahead. And then we'll just slide the little tool down, down until it touches. And I tell them I want it to touch, touching but not crushing. Just a gentle pressure. Can, can you can feel, feel it feel there? It. No, I can feel there. Sometimes if they have 
nice thick hair. <laughs> You're going to have to put a little compression on it. And I've got a reading here of five foot four and a quarter inch. Okay, so just relax, step four. Okay, back again. Five foot, we got a recorder, excellent. As they do a second one, they will, their posture muscles will adjust themselves slightly and they may decide, maybe I can be a little bit taller. <laughs> it's gotta work somehow. <laughs> okay, this time I got five foot four inches. I'm shrinking <laughs> as, as we speak. <laughs> and just relax, okay, now. Think tall. Show me how tall you really can be. Let's kick in a few posture muscles and see what can happen. And I've got four, five foot, four and a quarter inches again. Thank you, Cheryl. Five foot, four and a quarter inches for recording on your chart. Thank, Thank you. you. Someone else want to have their height taken? I'll do it side on this time. Thank you, Mary. And slip off the shoes. <coughs> back up. Step up onto the platform. Bring your heels back if you can. That's it. Looking straight ahead without leaning. Ah, now I'm, ah, I'm seeing how well this works without a stabilizing pole for the sta <laughs> sake of videoing. I'm having to stabilize here. I'm bringing it down. Touching but not crushing. Feel the pressure? Yes. A little bit? Okay. And just step away. Have a look at it with me. You're five, oh, I'm getting, you can look at that side or this side. Five foot three and a half. Okay? All right, let's come on back again. We're going to see if just adjusting, stand tall, back your heels up against the little bumper. To, that's it, looking straight. Okay, uh, she started out with her eyes up. It's reflex, isn't it? Chin down, that's it. Okay, I'm trying to get her to look level. And again, we've got, step away, five foot three and a half. Okay? So we've got the same measure both times. So let's back up one more time. Heels back, head high, nice and, that's it. Drop the chin, through there. Perfect, side. And she's managed to get herself up another eighth of an inch this time. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Any questions on how to use this? Uh, Sharon, are you getting the, the person to step off every time between each measurement? Step off and back on? If it's possible, but if not, I would just have them just relax themselves, adjust yeah. themselves because the posture muscles will begin to kick in yeah. and you may get a little different reading. We're going to take, right now we're going to take Judy's height. Come on over, Judy. Judy has taken her shoes off. I've put a chair beside Judy <laughs> to, give her, to make things a little more stable for her as she steps up backwards onto it. We're going to... It, it, there is a comfort to it. There is a comfort to holding on to something, either an assistant person beside them a chair with a back that yeah. they can hold on to if they feel unsteady to yeah. take the no, balance. For some of your people, it wouldn't work bad, but for somebody, yeah. Okay, just now looking straight ahead. That's it. Yeah. Now our little glide piece isn't quite going to make it. Yeah, so that's what I thought. yeah, so I'm going to use my metal ruler. I'm going to stabilize it on here, and I'm going to come down until she feels like I've put pressure, but not there. How's that? Yeah, that's good. That feels, I've got, um, I'm, I feel like I'm on the top of her head. Yeah. I've checked with pressure, but, you're not but I'm not squishing. Okay. Exactly. Okay, I've got five foot six and a quarter, and just relax, step away. That's it. Okay. And let's come back in one more time. We'll do a second one. Looking straight ahead, I'm going to bring, be touching, mm -hmm. but not crushing. Yeah. Okay, I've got 
five foot six and three eighths this time. We had a quarter last time, so we're a little eight. We're an eighth inch taller now. Is she straight? All right, now show me how tall you can be, Judy. You've got that imaginary load, and your muscles will know what to do as you think tall. And she just came up to five foot six and not quite three quarters. An eighth of an inch under. So Stop step away, enough. five eighths. <laughs> five foot six and five eighths. Come on around the side. Have a look. See what see what we've got yeah, for a reading I mean, there. For me it's easy to confirm. <clears throat> so if you've got a height problem, then I can look at it. And, yeah. Five foot yeah. six and five eighths. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Any other questions? <laughs>